Hey everyone! Let's take a look at how to generate tests in Playwright. Now in this video, I'm using the VS Code extension, which I've already installed. This gives me a testing sidebar here on the left-hand side. So I can click on that testing icon and you can see all the Playwright options. I'm going to click on Record New. This creates a file for me and my test block has already been started and you can see VS Code has a box there saying that Playwright Code Gen is recording. Now over on the other screen, I've got a browser window. This has popped up and it's got a little toolbar which I can move from side to side. You can see the red dot because I'm already recording, but I also have an option to pick a locator. I've got the option to assert for visibility, to assert for text, or to assert a value. Now let's go and test something. We'll put in a URL and press enter and this is the URL we want to test. Now in VS Code, what has been generated for us is an await page go to and the URL we put in the browser window. So let's go and get some testing done. Now, when you hover over any of the elements, you'll see underneath the locators that are basically going to be generated for you. So get by role link, name all products. We've got to get by text, the fastest, most powerful. And once we click on an item, it will then be generated. So let's go and do that. Let's click in the placeholder. Let's write, for example, Xbox, and let's press Enter. So what has been generated in VS Code? We've got a get by placeholder, search by product name, and you can see that dot click dot fill Xbox and dot press Enter. So that's really cool. OK, let's continue our test. Let's scroll down the page and let's find an Xbox controller we want to buy. Uh, this one's really beautiful. Let's take this and let's go and add quantity of two. So we'll click on the plus button here. As we hover over, you'll see get by role button name plus and we'll press that and then get by role button name add to cart. Let's press that and we've now got two quantity of this controller added to cart. And you can see this has been generated, the click event of the plus and the add to cart button. So let's see what else we can do. We have a shopping cart icon with the number one. We want to assert that that value is there. We have one product of quantity two in our shopping cart. So we can click on the assert option of text and let's click on that number one. And you'll see this little box is going to appear. Assert that element contains the text. Now this is editable. So I've got a one in there. What if I changed it to two? You'll see the red box coming around that. That's basically saying it's not going to work, right? So we want an assertion that's correct. So we click on number one and accept. And now if we go back to VS Code, we will see await expect page get by label cart to contain text one. Amazing. OK, this is really cool. What else can I do? Well, I want to click on this icon and let's open this page and let's test out another few of our assertions, right? We want to assert visibility. Do we want to assert by text or do we want to assert by value? Let's take a look at the value. So value be something like a text box. Uh, this quantity is not a text box, that's text. But this one here, get by role text box is a value. So let's click on that one. And then let's go and add another assertion. Let's do the visibility and click on the number two, get by text quantity of two. Let's click on that. And now over in VS Code, we have our two assertions, get by role text box to have value two and get by text quantity two to be visible. OK, amazing. So let's continue testing. Let's go and remove the item from the cart. That's what a user is going to do. This one is too expensive. We don't want this after all. And now our cart is empty and that's what a user is going to see. So let's assert that your cart is empty is there. We could do visibility, but let's assert the text. This is the actual text we want to use. And again, it's um, editable. So in our box, we could say, let's put now and you'll see that's not going to uh, be found. But your cart is empty. Let's accept that. And here we have an expect page to locator h1 to contain the text. Your cart is empty. Again, we could use the visibility here. This depends on what you want to test for. And we'll click on the get by role heading name. Your cart is empty. And over in VS Code, you can see that to be visible assertion has been generated for us. And here we have a complete test. We can either cancel recording. We can go back to the browser window and press the record button to stop it. And that's it. We have our test created for us. So we're going to press a green triangle and Playwright is going to run that test and you can see how quick that test passed. Now, because I have trace viewer options selected in VS Code, I get a full trace of my test and I can go through each action that we have generated to make sure that that is exactly what I wanted that user experience to be. And that's it. That's code generation in Playwright. 
Have fun and happy testing.